Hi guys, I'm excited to be here with you today to share another layout for the Shimmers Paints design team. So I am on the Color Kits team and I am working with the January Color Kits this month. And I am gonna be using for this layout three of the colors from that kit. Uh, it comes with five and I'm using three of those colors. So this first color that you see me using is an Inklings and it's called Rose Colored Glasses. And I'm using it with a 12 by 12 um, stencil from Pear Tree Cut Files. So I love using 12 by 12 stencils because you don't have to move them around your page and you can do all kinds of different techniques and then let them sit and dry. So they're a great tool to use because of that. So here I am going ahead and putting the inklings on there. And for me, this using this technique, I am not so much worried about it being absolutely perfect. If you're someone who's super particular and would be bothered by a little bit of, just a touch of um, spreading underneath the stencil, then you're not going to want to use, I'm using this medium and it's very wet. So I put a lot of water in there because I want it to be, have that really beautiful shimmery effect. If you didn't, if you wanted it to be a little thicker, you can put water in it and let it sit for longer and then it will be a little bit thicker and that might be better if you're someone who wants um, the medium to go through the stencil exactly like it's supposed to look. So I'm perfectly fine with it um, bleeding a little bit and having that a little bit messy look and I absolutely adore it. So uh, that what I did there is I did let that stencil dry for a couple of hours before I lifted it. So I left because the medium was wet, I left it on the paper and let it sit before I took that stencil up. So that's just a little technique, a little tip to help it, to help you be a little more successful with a strategy or a, using it in that way. So here what I'm doing is I am fussy cutting circles from the Suncatcher collection by Heidi Swap. I love this collection and it has all of the perfect colors in it to go with the colors in the January kit. So um, the rose colored glasses, that pink is all throughout this collection. And then I'm also gonna be using the coal today, um, which is a black and I love that it goes so well with lots of the, lots of the patterned papers here. And then I'm also gonna be using a little bit of silver bells. So um, what I've done is I've just torn some strips of paper, uh, super easy to do. Just kind of tear straight down. And I love that it's imperfect and those edges are a little bit rough. And I do use my uh, paper distressor to rough them up just a little bit more because I like them to be really full of texture. So I then I cut a little, a few strips from another patterned paper in the Sun Catcher collection and added it to each side of the paper. And that really just helps uh, like bolster the layout. So it gives it a stopping point on either side and it makes it look cohesive to me. So I love um, adding like repeating elements on a layout just because it helps your eye tie everything together. So um, I love how that, that pattern and especially a paper like this where the pattern is continuous. I love that it's split and on either side of that layout. So I'm going to be adding lots of stuff on top of that and you'll see here. So I do open the silver bells thinking I was going to use that, but then I end up deciding not to, not to do splatters of that yet. So I open the coal. So this is the shimmers coal. So the, in the shimmers, that comes already wet. So you're just taking, you're just opening it and mixing it up really well, stirring it up really well to activate all of those beautiful uh, sparkly bits that are in there. And um, then you can use it with a paintbrush or lots of different ways. So I used it with a paintbrush just to splatter there. So here, what I am doing is I have, this is a chipboard frame and it's really super -y metallic and gold. And it was just in my stash. I don't, I wish I knew where it came from. I buy more of them because um, I love the round, the thick round uh, frame. But what I am doing, I didn't want it to be a super uh, metallic gold. So what I'm doing is I'm using the rose colored glasses over, over that. Um, and then I did let that dry overnight and I added a second layer. So 
Again, it's not exactly perfect and that's okay with me. I do go back, you'll see here uh, with a nail file and I'm gonna sand off some, some more of those edges because I do like it to look a little roughed up. So, and have a little bit of that gold poking through. Okay, so here I am cutting my photos. This is the Creative Memories, the Creative Memories cutting system. I've had it for like 20 years, I don't know, long time. Um, super old and I still love it. So I'm using that to cut some circles and then some frames for those circles or some mats for those circles. And then those are gonna go around the frame. So this layout has three photos and I do get those uh, printed from Persnickety Prints. So they're th they start out three by four and then I trim them down from there. This was just another little element that I used the circle cutter to cut out of that patterned paper from the Suncatcher collection. I'm backing those photos. And then I am gonna pop them up on craft foam. So almost everything that I'm gonna add to the layout is gonna be uh, popped up on some some level of craft foam. So I have a several different um, thicknesses. So this first one that I'm using, it's a super cheap <laughs> craft foam from Michaels. It doesn't even come with adhesive. So I add my own adhesive and it's the thinnest layer of craft foam that I have. So that's where I'm starting. And those two photos, uh, the two smaller photos are gonna be popped up on that. And then the framed photo is going to be popped up on a thicker piece of craft foam. It's almost doubly, double as thick, so um, or double the thickness of it. So here I'm adding that, making sure I know where it's going to go before I add that craft foam to the back, because I do I don't want the I don't want to have craft foam on top of the the other little photos. So I kind of want it to nestle in in between what I've already got going on there and it will sit a little bit higher, but not on top of those. Hopefully that makes sense. And then, um, I felt like my frame was a little crooked. Because you can kind of see in real life, on the video you can't tell, but on, in real life it does have a, a little bit of a pattern to it, and I wanted it to be straight. And there I was sanding the edges so some of that metallic gold would poke through. And now comes one of my favorite parts where I'm just gonna start embellishing. <laughs> so these are those little circles that I fussy cut from one of the pattern papers. And they were imperfect to start with, which made it really super easy to, to uh, fussy cut them. And then I am gonna distress the edges of each of those. And that little element that I cut out of the pattern paper says, this is my happy place. So these photos are of a day that we spent at the beach during our family beach week. If you uh, watch videos on my channel, you've seen me scrap lots of layouts for that family beach week from last summer. It was actually summer summer of 20, 2021. I think it was summer of 2021. So a couple summers ago. I'm still working through it. And so here I'm just adding some elements or some more circles. So I definitely, all of the embellishments, the paper, the photos, everything is gonna have lots of circles and it. I love how that looks with that, uh, with that pattern that I have going on the background using the inklings. So all of those circles speak to each other and tie the layout together. So here I'm pulling off a couple of stickers from, that's the sun catcher pad that you can buy at Joanne Fabrics. So um, Joanne always produces, or I guess American Crafts produces it for Joanne, exclu Joanne's exclu Joanne Fabrics exclusively. Um, so with lots of different collections like Vicki Putin's collections, Paige Evans, Heidi Swap, lots of those collections, there's a, a different paper pad that you can get at Joanne Fabrics that matches those collections. So that's where, that's where this is from. And then that sticker says fun in the sun, which is perfect for the theme of this layout on the beach. And that is a sticker from Simple Stories. So 
so here this is one of those stickers that I took off the sticker sheet I did pop it up on craft foam sorry about my head there <laughs> uh, so I did pop it up on a thick piece of craft foam so that it uh, looks less like a sticker and more like just an embellishment and you can kind of see I'm keeping everything to the left over there kind of going up the left side of the paper here, this was one of the ephemera pieces from the Suncatcher collection. And since I'm going with everything round, I just cut it out with my circle cutter. You should never be afraid to embellish your embellishments. I always say that. Or tweak your embellishments, make them fit your layout how you want them to look. So they're often beautiful the way that they come. And then you, they can be made even better by you tweaking them to, to fit your layout perfectly. And that says relax, that ephemera piece that I cut out. These are some puffy stickers from 49 and Market Spectrum collection. I think that one said love to stay and this one that I put up here at the top says hello. So the colors in that spectrum, that uh, Spectrum Sherbert, sorry, Spectrum Sherbert from 49 and Market. That collection, those colors work really well with the Suncatcher collection. And then these are uh, Canvas Flare from Scrap and Happy Studios. And I love this set. They are canvas and they're super thick and popped up and all little little beach creatures. So there's a turquoise crab that matches the pattern paper and then that pink seahorse is the exact color of the rose colored glasses shimmers on the background. So it looks really good with that. You'll notice I've pulled together a lot of different elements from lots of different collections and tied those together. And I love that because then it makes the layout uniquely you when you're um, collecting and pulling stuff from lots of different places and using your creative eye to make it all go together so that's one of my favorite things to do and then these little I did add a couple little brads they are from uh, my mind's eye jubilee collection and they one is just kind of like a little orange pattern and then the other one is a tur turquoise pattern this and it says hello on it Okay, so here what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the Silver Bells shimmers and on the black parts of the circles that I used, those that black part like really stood out and it was really dark. So I took the Silver Bells and just added a light little layer of that so it gives it some shimmer and then it also kind of tones down the black, which was really helpful. And then here I'm gonna go and add some teeny tiny little sparkly pieces to add a little bit more color and visual interest. This box of goodies is from, um, well, I the box I bought from Container Store and then I filled it with um, lots of little embellishments from Button Score. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull that up to the camera so you can see the finished layout. And you can see lots of shine and shimmer on that background from, from the shimmers. And they're so beautiful. And there is a close-up photo. And I hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, you can give it a like and tap the notification bell for notifications for more videos featuring the shimmers products. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.